So it's a manipulation, right? Just because you get an audible doesn't mean it's a manip, right? It's just a forceful thrust past the available range of motion. I've had to do this once in my eight-year career as a PT when a pilot in the Army jumped out of a plane, landed on one leg, and had an upslip. Okay, and it was a dramatic upslip, so I had to manip him with this glide. Other than that, um, I'm going to show you another technique in which you can get up to a grade four, and my philosophy is the least amount of force necessary to achieve your goal, because the patient's going to be less sore if you follow that. Okay, but I, I'm not going to manip her because I'm going to try the other technique first, but I just want to show you guys the position. So what you're going to do is you're going to reach around and grab the heel, with one hand, the other hand comes on the anterior dorsum of the foot here. So what I'm going to do is position her so that as I lunge forward and pull her, I'm aiming for like 10 feet up in the air. Okay. So you're going to start with the knee bent. Now, just a rule of thumb if you have to manip someone. The best rule of advice is do not tell them you're going to manipulate them because all the tissues are going to contract and it's going to be much harder. Okay, so you can just kind of start to get them a little bit relaxed here instead of screaming, relax, relax, okay? We're just right. going to get it loosened up, and then we're going to forcefully thrust this way, okay? Ten, ten feet I'm aiming for. The knee should drop into extension when you do it, okay? So that's a manip. The way that I like to do it is just uh, inferior or caudal glide, same thing. And I like to position the leg up on my shoulder this way. I'm getting it really close again, just like we did for the lateral glide, but on the front of the hip. I'm reinforcing with this forearm, and then I'm going to find their R1 and R2. Now, before we do that, I just want to show you, this is the other hip than what I worked on. See how tight she is? I'm hitting resistance right there. So typically, the caudal glide can really help to just distract the joint and get some more hip flexion. So I'm going to work more in the stiffness range. Is this pressure okay? You want to make sure if you have a watch on, it's not digging in them, and that your forearm bone is not digging in them. So patient comfort is important in order for them to relax. If, you know, if it's a really big patient, I might stand, so I get a little bit more leg movement, but I'm still really using my trunk, I'm not using my arms much at all, other than to just hold the position. Are you just rocking? Mm-hmm. So I'm distracting, inferior distraction. So I tend to go that way first versus in the nap. But <coughs> if you have someone that has an SI dysfunction, an upslip, then the manip is probably the only thing that's going to change that and make a difference. So you have options. Okay? So try those two. So